There are two sides to the personality of the ghost ship. Sometimes it's a malevolent force, other times it's a neutral force. But it's always there in the scene and always talking to the character. It's always shifting. Its metal hulk is always creaking. The ship's always responding to the waves outside, the environment outside. And we try and bring this into the environment for the player when they're inside the ship. What was that noise? What we wanted the player to feel when we, they were going around the ghost ship was to have a very spooky and damp and cold feel, but yet not knowing what was around the corner. The lights on the ship fail and fade, and so areas are really dark and silhouetted. We wanted it to feel like a dungeon, so we had chains rattling and there's smoke and mist and all of these atmospheric clues to horror films. Uh, that's what we wanted to exist inside of this ship. So it's a matter of exploration into the depths of the ship and as you get deeper, we wanted the emotions to get more and more intense. The characterization and the sounds that the characters make in the environment is really key to conveying that sense of decay. They're walking around the environment in bare feet and the sounds they make as their feet hit the environment has to be sharp, edgy, rusty and dusty. It's a really hard sound to recreate. Every tap on a, on a bulkhead, every brush past a wall, it all has to convey that sense of decay and that roughness, that real kind of sense of a hostile environment. It's a great environment for horror. The way the ship's built, there's lots of very unique areas that you wouldn't normally find in everyday sets, such as very long, tight corridors, and they can present somewhat of a challenge when you're thinking about how to shoot in there, but you can kind of use that to your advantage by making shots that work in there that then lend a certain character to it. So for example, we used very short lenses to deal with those wide corridors, which then gave it a nice distorted feel at times and a very acute angle to some of the shots, which creates a certain tension, which was actually like really fitting for those scenes in the ghost ship. Where are you taking me? Now, why would I tell you? It's a nice mixture between uniformity of the military style structure and also the chaos of something that is old and creepy and has kind of been overtaken by nature a little bit. The decay of the ship, the state of decay, the rustiness is conveyed not only through the great artwork, but it's how the characters sound when they interact with that environment. It all needs to offer that kind of sharp edginess and that's a great environment for horror.